Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host Fletcher, and today we have a part two collection video. So, without further to say, let's open up this mystery case. Let's see what's in here, guys. All right, let's start talking about them. This is the Benchmade Shootout. OTF and crew wear. I think I paid about $270 for this. This is the Launch 14 from Kershaw. It's a cleaver. Man, this thing is sweet to carry and use. These two are the same. So they're just both 20 CV Kershaw links. No need to really pull both of them out. <clears throat> Here's my rat one. How did... So I did the ferric chloride on it, and I didn't stone wash this one. Nice thing about ferric chloride is if you ever change your mind about stone washing it, you just take the blade apart and stone wash it. Here is a SE Avispa. They are made in Taiwan. It has SK5 carbon steel, as you can probably see. It's got a little bit of patina on it. Just from sitting in the old case. Between this and the Rat 1, I probably like the Rat 1 more, but SE's warranty is, uh, is amazing. You break it, they replace it. That's their warranty. This is a Asher Knives, I believe this is the Shiro Flipper. Really like this knife. He did a really good job of designing it. I really like the, yeah. I don't know, I've just always liked the way this knife has looked. This is a Manly Knives City. S90V, it's got a fresh edge on it, I believe. I think I sharpened it up before I put it back in the case. At least I hope I did. All right, let's scoot this over slightly. Getting into the bench mains. D2 mini grip, okay. The uh, S35VN. This is a, I believe this is Asher Knives Picket. Benchmade 940 Osborne, full size version. Another knife here, another design here from Asher Knives. This is the Grandy. You'll see that I have a few of his knives in my collection. Hogue Deca Polymer in MagnaCut. This is my Rat 2. I like the Aus 8 over the D2. So that's why I have the Aus 8. I think they do a better job of heat treating it. It's a solid performer. I know exactly how much this will cut before it gives up. This is my Tactile Knife Co. Behar in Magna Cut with a, I think that's a Timascus bead. Titanium handles, milled. Very, very thin. As you can see, this is a very thin and lightweight slip joint. So it'll be interesting to carry this when I do my Magna Cut carry, which I want to get a ton of knives in Magna Cut before I do that. Like, a ton. This is a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog in 10V. Oh, and uh, I took the, the coating off using like acetone. 
and scotch bright took me for freaking ever holy cow this is my usa made case trapper with a rough black synthetic jig handle it has the true sharp blades on it and you bet your bottom dollar i'm going to be doing a uh i have a ton of carries i want to do it's all it's all just going to take time boys and girls Here is my M390 Rat 2 Reblade from House of Blades with a titanium pocket clip and denim micarta handles. This thing is sweet. I have a rounded spine too, just like a Sabenza. It's a sweet knife for sure. My standard S30V bug out with blue handles. Been sharpened, been used. What more else can I say about it? 20CV bug out. Uh, blade HQ exclusive. This is the non coated blade. With gray G10. It's like a grayish white. I uh, know it's gray. Okay. I used to have two of these. John has my other one. John from BGM Knives. I ended up selling it to him. This is my Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive CPM M4. OD green handles. Tungsten Cerakoted blade, I believe is what they call that. This is my channel knife I had made from Benchmain. an S90V with orange G10, black hardware. This one right here, this is like my get dressed, we're hitting the town knife. This is my Benchmade bug out in Damasteel, all blacked out hardware. This is a cool customer right here. All right, I had a fan of the channel send this in, or a supporter of the channel, I should say. Fan makes me sound self-absorbed. So we'll say supporter of the channel. It's a QSP Penguin that's been modified in S35VN. He sent that in. This is a knife I bought on my call it like my pre-honeymoon <laughs> we had some passport problems with my passport so we went up to flagstaff arizona for a weekend and at the walmart there i bought a knife just because have a knife i remember that trip for so there's that it's kershaw leak get them for 60 bucks at walmart although i don't know for how much longer this is a Sencut knife I bought forever ago, like when I first started the channel. And I think it's called the Scepter? I think this is the Sencut Scepter. I don't know, I'm not too read up on the names of Sencut, because I, I don't really care about them. This is probably my, this probably ties with that other Kershaw launch you saw the 14 the Kershaw launch 11 both have CPM 154 blade steel aluminum handles USA made I think I paid like 90 bucks for that here's a uh auto messer this is their uh tush knife or pocket knife and yeah I mean I carried this for one day while I was sweating and I don't know if you can see all that rust on the bolsters which is kind of ridiculous I almost kind of just want to let it do its thing and see how decrepit it can get. But yeah, I mean, still a good... I mean, the fit and finish is still amazing on these guys. I just uh, EDCI everything on them. Everything. 
This is my TRM Neutron 2. Okay. This is my Mini Griptilian from Benchmade and 154CM with a hollow grind that is a laser beam. I mean, I don't know if you can see how thin that gets, but uh, yeah. It's my Hogue Deca 20CV. This is a Gen 1. Okay. It's got some use on it because, well, it was used. Manly Knives Wasp and S90V. This one, I don't know if this one got, I think I might still need to sharpen this one. This is the, it's called the sequel, I believe. It's the model 707 from Benchmade and 154CM. Okay, it's uh, aluminum with a, looks like a G10 insert. I actually really like this knife. It's really nice and small. I like it. My mini bug out in orange. S30V. I would love to see some mini bug out exclusives. If anyone could tell them. You know, you just do your normal exclusives in a mini bug out. And that would be pretty cash money. So, if you guys know them, get in touch with them, let them know that. I'd probably buy some. My mini Griptilian Tontos. This is a 557 instead of a 556. 154 CM. USA made. Standard GFN handles. This is the old style of pocket clip. This is a Spartan Blades. I believe this is the Aster. CTS XHP, they're Taiwan made. I think I originally thought these were USA made, but they are Taiwan made, I believe. CTS XHP, liner on one side, there's a liner lock, G10. My full size, large Chris Reeves Sabenza that has some scuffs near the pivot because I put my keys in my pocket next to my purely titanium knife. And so, yeah, that happened. <laughs> it's all right. Carry it anyway, so it'll get all be, it'll get the crap beat out of it anyways. This is my yellow synthetic smooth handle from Case Knives. It is in their CV steel. It is a trapper. It's a two blade pattern. Just to show you guys, CV, chromium vanadium, that's like their 1080 steel. Full size Kaiser 10V. Look at that. Thing's a beast. This is the Sheepdog. Mini Adamus crew wear, reground by BGM Knives. Thanks, John. It's got a sweet hollow grind on it. He even redid the swedge on it. This is the Civivi Relic. I actually had a guest send this into the channel. Sorry, not a guest, a supporter of the channel. Send it in. Uh, even with some journal notes, like I know exactly how many edges are on this thing. And so if I ever want to test it, I can just carry it for like a day or two. Uh, and you know, tell you how the steel does. I've heard good things about their Damascus, but yeah. So sent in by a viewer, so uh, a gift to me, very generous. So definitely gonna review that. This is the TRM Atom, featuring one of my edges on it in 20 CV. Look at that. Beautiful knife. USA made, G10. I think it's titanium liners, titanium liner lock. Great little knife. Wow, well, not little. Sorry, just great knife in general. All right. Close up the box of mysteries. 
push that off to the side. Do one of these. And let's take a look at these. So we have my Civivi Altus. I did a carry on this guy. It's a Nitro V. Performed rather well. It's a button lock. Burgundy with a black blade. Okay. They do make a uh, bead blasted version, which in my opinion is just asking for corrosion to happen. My 80 20.5 Austin A. This is a Taiwan made knife designed by John and Andrew Demko of the Demko Brothers. This was reground by John at BGM Knives, so thank you, John. Oh man, this knife is old. This is probably my first knife I ever ruined. Yeah, look at that edge. See that tip? That non-existent tip? This is why I don't like electric sharpeners. They suck. They round your tips off. They give you a micro convex. Just don't even get me started. Use a stone. Just use a, save your knives, use a stone. But funny thing is, is I would use this now on an electric sharpener just because it's already been chinga dared. All right. We have a Ritter Hogue RSK. It's the full size. 20 CV with black G10, stonewash blade, meat by Hogue. All the uh, proceeds go to uh, knife rights, so I have no problem buying one of those. Basically, it's a charitable donation at that point. They just give you a knife. This is the... Oh, man, I'm blanking on... Oh, mi uh, Mig Your Own Knives. This is the Valona. There you go. Uh, I did a carry and a review on the, on the steel on this guy. I don't think I ever reviewed the knife. The knife is like super huge that's a four inch look at this that's a four inch blade that's freaking redonkulous we have a kershaw 20 cv dividend usa made black aluminum speed safe assist chris Ree, small sabenza so if you're counting yes that is three sabenzas two small one large have, I've had this one the longest. Asher Knives Nomad 3.0, M390, G10. Feels pretty nice. It's got a JG10 backspacer on it too. Demco Knives Bowler K110. Also marked D2, because that's what K110 is. It's Bowler D2. This is the clip point. Also done by John. Look at that. Look how sexy that is. Yeah. Makes you want to cat call it. It's rocking the shark lock. It's probably one of my... I just love the way this looks. Orange handles. This is a nice center exclusive. Look at this guy, he's so small. He's the smallest knife of the bunch. He's almost a runt. Or is he? He is. He's the runt five in Magna Cut. Textured aluminum handles. You know there is no way I was buying that smooth Protec handle. Uh-uh. Sorry, Protec. I like your knives, but that those smooth handles. Try not I'm trying not to cut myself. That would be the that'd be the goal. Okay. This is a custom S90V bug out, yellow FRN. Yes, it is dirty. It is a beater, so don't don't worry about how it looks. This is this knife gets abused. Kershaw Federalist CPM one fifty four. USA made, double detent. Yeah, look at that. My car to handles. That is a sweet knife. Last knife, at least for this part, is my Civivi Elementum in D2. And canvas my carta. The D2 on this actually feels pretty good. It felt pretty good in sharpening. I actually really liked it. And it's got a good bite to it. So. Did that on diamond plates instead of a uh, 
Japanese stone, and I think I really like the way it turned out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you're notified when I post a new video. And this is not the final part to this series. We will yet see either one or two more parts to this, so stay tuned. As always, thank you so, so much for watching, and don't you ever, ever forget to stay sharp.